No one has yet to find the correct way of eating an oyster, because oyster eating is a highly individual art. In Tasmania, it's an art we easily master because of the quality and quantity of our oysters. Successful commercial oyster beds in Tasmania are the result of years of research and experimental farming. And part of that research was finding the right oyster. Back in 1947, we imported the Pacific oyster from Japan, and on that basis, we've built the industry to the success it is today. Harvesting is a fairly simple process. Gone are the days of breaking the oysters off sticks. They're now matured in mesh containers, which allow the tides to bring fresh food to the oyster. Here at Bishano on the east coast, the Tasmanian Fisheries Development Authority Hatchery has established oyster brood stock. Two types of oysters are grown in the blue Pacific waters of Tasmania, the bluey strain and the golden mantle strain. At spawning times, the oyster releases a milky white fluid, which is in fact millions upon millions of sperm or eggs. These larvae are 21 days old, and this sieve contains 14 million oyster larvae, known as oyster spat. Old shells are crushed to powder for the spat to settle on and grow. Then comes the feeding process to help them grow. Oysters, like any other living creature, need a, a varied diet in order to, to grow successfully. Uh, it's taken 10 years of research to, to, to find the ideal diet for the oyster when it's in its microscopic stages. Basically, it all boils down to a, to a varied diet that's very similar to the human diet, with the green algae uh, fulfilling the role of, of lettuce, the brown algae uh, being more like steak with a th very thick cell wall and quite a bit of protein. And we've even developed an algae we feel is uh, very much like the sauce in the Australian diet, in that uh, small amounts of this particular algae uh, cause the oysters to, to feed much more effectively. When they've reached a healthy size, about three to four millimeters, they leave the hatchery and are delivered to oyster farmers around Tasmania. Only 25% of the hatchery's stock will be considered good enough for farming. At various times during the 18 months maturing period, the farmer collects the oysters, grades them and places them in bags with the larger mesh, allowing a free flow of water and food. The oyster is a very delicate fish, particularly susceptible to water impurities. Continuous testing monitors the water conditions. The oysters take 12 to 18 months to reach optimum table size. If the oysters are for the half-shell market, they're turned in a barrel to weaken the adductor muscle, so that the splitter can easily break them open. Oysters grow 400 times faster than beef, so they're by far the fastest growing animal protein in existence. And unlike beef, they're using a virtually limitless resource, the algae of our river estuaries. And at gourmet restaurants like Casey's in the north of Tasmania, you'll find the chef preparing oysters. One of the favorites at Casey's is Oyster Britannia. Simple, yet delicate. Some crushed garlic and a little dry sherry. Add breadcrumbs and place a knob of butter on top. Then simply pop them under a griller. So if ever you're passing Casey's restaurant in Tasmania, ask for Oyster Britannia. Flavorsome, yet still retaining the fresh taste of the blue waters of the east coast.